You know what's crazy about the whole thing of Persona? Persona is basically just you having a mask or a different type of personality and you basically reveal that out to, you know, that friend group, at least in that universe of Persona. And when it comes down to it, that's how they kind of use their powers and whatever. So I find it a bit weird how literally people, when it comes to Midori, have gone absolutely insane and absolutely stupid regarding how they feel about this particular person now because of the truth of what their actual identity is so when it comes down to it obviously you might have seen midori on you know different sites in different places where they talk about you know gaming stuff and leaking information and things like that like maybe what's coming up next and when is certain things happening and all that sort of stuff and people was you know looking forward to her and trying to figure out the information and all that type of stuff right and mainly notable in like the persona community and started going branching out to square enix a little bit and trying to see where we go from there right but recently literally like within the last 24 hours their identity actually got basically put out there and essentially when it comes down to it they are not necessarily the japanese girl that people thought they made them out to be and essentially it's just a white guy from chicago that got stabbed at one point which does that information matter don't know it was out there people kept bringing it up so i guess i just mentioned it i suppose but the point is midori is not necessarily a japanese girl they are a white guy from chicago and that's literally about it as far as like major major things but the internet being the internet wanted to take this basically a whole step further and when it comes down to it after midori confirmed this that you know that's basically true that there are some other type of account before midori and all that type of stuff people went absolutely effing insane they literally could not understand why someone would fake their personality or at least fake their identity when it comes down to it and be like how could you midori we trusted you and your information so now all your information is garbage you are garbage and now we'll believe whatever the hell we want to believe excuse you number one midori has been accurate on a lot of the reliable information leaks and sources that they have pulled out so the fact that someone could say oh maybe now their information is a lie and false no because you can't just erase the past dumbass so that's number one number two the fact that people are so upset that midori lied about their identity i don't understand how would you be mad at that you're leaking information from these different companies about certain different pieces of things that has not been announced yet of course these companies will probably want to shut you down as soon as possible and when it comes down to it why wouldn't you fake a personality to say what needs to be said literally i'm pretty sure anybody with a brain wouldn't necessarily go out their way put out their real information their real face or whatever and just simply just be like yeah I'm going to leak information. You will be stopped on the spot like they did with that whole kid that tried to leak GTA 6. Like, it's not necessarily something that I would do if I was in that position. I would totally come up with a fake identity if that's what I was going to do hypothetically. So it makes all the sense in the world for Midori to basically go ahead and do this. But so many people are flabbergasted about the identity of Midori and all that type of stuff. To the point they just started bashing them, started throwing out random predator accusations about them. And at the end of it, bitch, it's probably not even true. Like, le be legit with you. A lot of these instances when people throw out the predator accusation, and when I used to see those type of accusations, I'd be like, maybe it is, and it's unfortunate if so. But now with this one, I'm like, I don't think this is the case. Number one being when people confirmed the identity of who Midori was, Midori didn't really beat around the bush. They kind of just say, yeah, that's who I basically am without any type of hesitation. Usually people in this position would lie or be terrible at it and try to, you know, block people and private their account and all that sort of stuff. But Midori didn't do all that. So at the end of it, it's like, okay, this is a bitch, you know, normal than usual okay maybe maybe midori is not necessarily the worst type of person that's out there and the fact again people go out their way to you know throw out these accusations it's like i don't know if i believe those accusations in fact one of the google documents that's out there has literally nothing spread of that predator accusation when it comes down to it so where did people get that from i have 
literally no idea and even if it is we haven't heard their side of the story we haven't really seen anything of what they need to say about themselves or anything like that and again there isn't anything that i think is out there that would throw him under the bus like that so to be perfectly honest unless something is proven and actual with tangible evidence and shown physical evidence or whatever then to be very honest with you i think the internet is just making up some bullshit just to make up some bullshit because what's the fastest way to kick somebody out of the community call them a predator and that's essentially what they do and that's probably what they decided to do with this one and so everybody just started to again bash Midori for literally absolutely no type of reason and going back to the whole identity thing again why again why is that such a big deal that's literally like if you took all the vtubers in the world and be like why are you hiding your identity you're trash if you do like no because they don't want to have their secrets out they don't want to have their identity and face out there for good ass reasons and it's so funny how people will be so quick to you know judge someone like majority when it comes down to it but absolutely would never go after people that know is like trash when it comes out down to their actual identity and actually asshole people when it comes down to it in the v2 in space how many times have i had to bring up l so somebody actually understands that you know she's not necessarily the greatest person but no one wants to bring that shit up though so i guess we'll have to just leave that somewhere on the channel honestly for you to go back to see but when it comes down to it no one bring that shit up or just anything regarding the identities of stuff that actually should be brought up when it comes down to it but at the end of it though it's just so weird how people just completely just say yeah you lied your information sucks it's wrong when bitch they again been hella reliable they have been really reliable when it comes down to it and give people effing hope when it comes to their information so at the end of it i don't understand why would you say that because they probably still could be very much right that cage could be coming out in 2026 i don't want that shit to be in 2026 i want it next year but you never really know also i feel like a lot of people are also butt hurt because midori is not a girl and it's a guy so i feel like that's also like a whole nother thing when it comes down to it too because it's just like man i didn't get to clap them japanese cheeks so i'm gonna just go ahead and harass them now like boy one you probably didn't have a chance in the first damn place number two no one really knew the absolute truth and to be honest it wasn't really something that shouldn't matter and considering how everybody's basically everybody's just like an asshole now yeah i can see why she wouldn't want anybody to get you know close at that time and when it comes down to it though i find it funny that people hate him off his gender when literally this month is all about the pride so i feel like this is a bit you know a bit of irony thrown around here honestly if this person was gender fluid everybody would be assholes right now literally at least to the logic of this month everybody will be considered an asshole and double so because men's mental health awareness month so you know double triple maybe asshole so you know that's just also a thing to throw down with but for me personally just to wrap everything up i'm not mad at midori i'm not necessarily someone that hates midori unless again something was proven to be true which i doubt it I don't really care that Midori lied about their identity. People do that shit on the internet all the time. So I don't necessarily have a beef or a gripe when it comes down to it. And as far as like, you know, just in general of Midori, just let them be. Like literally, it's kind of your ass and your fault if you hate them for their identity of what they actually are. Yeah, sure, they might have been a bit, you know, weird and maybe out there when it comes to acting like the japanese lady but at the very same time it's understandable when you're leaking information so that's just how that goes but that's essentially what i'm just gonna throw down with i don't necessarily hate midori when it comes down to it i don't necessarily really have too much of a beef or a problem when it comes down to it everybody else that does is definitely weird as hell but you know that's just the internet and unfortunately the internet is full of dumbass people they don't know how to use common sense research or logic so that's just how that goes but yeah that's essentially all i have for this one so hopefully you did enjoy if you did be sure to like share, subscribe hit the bell in case you want out also follow me on the socials and like to donate to the channel ko-fi and cash app is available as well until then this is Boy J, sign off have a blessed day